Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Duskmos, and today I'm here with the Walrus Audio Melee. This is a Signal Colors primer video, and like all my primers, um, I'm just taking a first look, getting a first hands-on, checking something out that's brand new that I don't know that much about. Um, so we're gonna kinda learn and check it out together. The Melee was sent over by Walrus, and um, I'm super appreciative of that. Uh, super cool of them to send this over, and I'm really excited to check this one out because, I mean, come on, I mean, it's crazy cool looking. You got the joystick, uh, you got reverb and distortion, uh, cool routing, different types of reverb even, and so I'm really excited to see what this does. And as you can also see, um, this is a whole new setup for 2023. I've got my new background here. Uh, you may have noticed my new intro stinger and um, my signal colors thing. And uh, yeah, just trying to mix things up and refresh it for the new year. Another thing you'll see a lot more frequently is the TX6 from Teenage Engineering. This little powerhouse mixer. Um, I'm going to have a whole episode or two or three coming up about this. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested. But I'm keeping that on deck um, just so I can control levels a little bit easier. Um, I can route everything directly into it, into my recording interface. And um, yeah, it's going to be really handy for what I do. So really excited. And thank you, Teenage Engineering, for sending that over. All right, enough of the intro stuff. Uh, let's get to it. Let's hear how this thing sounds. So first up, my clean pattern sounds like this. Little jazzy number. And we'll get into the melee. So right away you can hear some crunchy distortion. Move the joystick around. So on this axis, it's um, uh, distortion level, and on this is mix level. So further to the right, uh, you mix in more reverb, and further to the left, you take it out, and it's more of just a pure distortion sound. That's more, more of a pure reverb sound, and you kind of find a happy medium in the middle. And the more you go up, the more distortion you get. Sounds pretty cool. You've got different modes here, uh, three different tone selectors, uh, decay, and a direction or routing for the distortion to the reverb or the reverb into the distortion, which is cool. notice too is um, it reacts differently as like a lot of distortions do to um, how much signal you're feeding it so I'm turning down the model cycles over here so that way you can maybe go a little more subtle with it bypassed. You can hear the volume dropped because I'm dropping the uh, input to keep the distortion level down a little bit. Actually, we'll go back. All right, let's flip the uh, tone control. So 
So that's kind of an instance where maybe a gain control would be cool. We go old school with it. Just do it on the box. That's pretty wild. for a minute. You can change the decay. Kind of back out of the distortion a bit. Go for max decay. It's where you're really going to hear that wash effect. down center position is basically like bypass. So that's a clean. You hear it drop a little bit, but. Okay, while we're here, I'll actually switch it into um, another reverb type. There are three different reverb types and you press the two foot switches at the same time um, to switch between it. So right now we're in the ambient reverb. Um, we're gonna switch to the octave down reverb I haven't tried this yet, so we'll hear how this sounds. The decay is still super ramped, so let me bring that down. Or 
I'm actually going to mute the uh, chords and so you can really hear it reversing now. So we'll bypass. That's what it sounds like clean. So clearly, wildly different. We'll up the decay. And I guess you can hear it feedbacking as well. So it sounds like the delay, I believe. Bypass. Reengaged. Now, another thing you can do is route the um, the reverb into the distortion, and that's what that sounds like. Super Annihilation. Reminder again of the clean. Oh, we still get the trails from the decay being up. Oh, and some, I guess, noise that was still going on. It's like a delay when you bypass. But that's pretty awesome. Uh, add back the other sounds. wildly different. So there you go. That's my first look at the Melee from Walrus Audio. Uh, crazy cool, crazy uh, destruction, and um, the reverb modes are really cool. I'm excited to run this through um, its paces and see what else it can do. Try it with some other sounds and all that good stuff. And if you're interested in checking that out, definitely come back to the channel. Um, I will be posting my full length demo, review, all that good stuff, and uh, featuring it with some other instruments. Maybe try a sampler and um, yeah, just a synth, maybe the SH-101 might make an appearance. Um, we'll see how it goes, but uh, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.